All of these things are not like the other things. All of these things, they're completely different. Okay, hey guys, how's it going? Uh, Mr. Piercy on the mic. Um, so, um, last lesson, we we're talking about, well, you did a little activity, which um, and it meant that you had to match up different algebraic expressions on the board. Uh, bear in mind that an expression is anything that doesn't have an equal sign. For example, n squared is just an expression. 3n plus 2 is an expression. Um, x multiplied by x minus 1 is an expression. Okay, so you are matching them up on the board. Now, from that, some important things came out of that. So, uh, we realised there's differences between each one of all of these different things. So n times n, you'll probably remember is actually n squared, just like 3 times 3 is 3 squared. n plus n, okay, that's completely different, that's 2n, yeah, okay, n plus n, double n, and of course this means 2 times n, we just don't include the time sign in there. n plus 1, well in fact, there's nothing you can do with that. Yeah, I mean, literally, n plus 1 is n plus 1. I guess if you wanted, you could change it around and say 1 plus n. But no way you can simplify that at all. And then n times 1 is just 1n, okay? Thing is, in algebra, we don't include the 1 in front of, in front of a variable. So we're literally just going to write n, n times 1. So just looking at the difference between all of these different things. Now, we can make this slightly more kind of, we can go a bit further with all of this stuff, and that's what I want, to, want you to do today. Um, so I'm going to get rid of all this, and uh, by the way, if I make a mistake in this video, I'm not going to, I'm not going to stop and redo it, I'm just going to keep going. So I'm going to start by writing down all of the expressions that I want you to simplify, and I want you to write these down in your book. So you might need to pause the video after I've written them down. Okay, number one, 5p, Take away 2p. Number 2 is going to be 3x squared plus 6x squared. Number 3 is going to be uh, 5y minus 3y plus 2x. And um, let's have five questions, so I'll have 5ab plus 3ab minus 6b, and let's have one over here as well, number five, um, 8t, take away 3i, minus 6t, oh, minus i. So you might need to pause it there and just write down these, these questions. Um, and then you can come back to it. Okay, so hopefully you've written all them down and uh, we're ready to get going on, on what these things actually mean. So 5p take away 2p. I'm just going to change the colour of the pen. I'm just going to start writing down here. If you think about what you actually have here, you can think about it in two ways. You've got p plus a p plus a p plus a p plus a p. That's 5p. Take away a p and take away another p, so take away two p's. Now if you do that, you've got five p's, take away two p's, you're going to be left with just three p's left over. Okay, so the answer is three p. Of course, you could think of this as being, well, this is like five times p, take away two times p, which is of course going to leave you, leave you with three times p. So the answer to this is three p. Some people You'll see some people that don't know what they're doing leave the answer as free, um, simply because they think you have to take the p's away. But that doesn't make sense if you think about it like this. Yeah. Okay. Right, 3x squared plus 6x squared. Well, in the same way, we could write all of this out. We could do x squared plus x squared plus x squared for the 3x squared plus x squared plus, and I could keep on continuing. Okay, but in total, I think you realise you're going to have 9x squared. Next one, 5y take away 3y plus 2x. Now 5y take away 3y, in a very similar way to 5p take away 2p, 5y take away 3y is 2y, 
Now, you're probably thinking, can we do anything with this 2x? Can we add it on? Well, we can't. We can, all we can leave it is that. Because if you think about it, we've got y plus a y. That's your 2y. And then we've got an x plus an x. There's your 2x. There's nothing we can do with that. So that's completely simplified. That's as far as we can go. Now, before I carry on, I'm just going to get rid of some of this, just in case I need some more space. There we go. Cut that. OK. So next bit. 5ab plus 3ab take away 6b. Well, I've got, again, we've got an ab plus another ab plus another ab. I'm going to do this really messy and really quick. There we go. Woohoo. So we've got 5ab's plus 3ab's. That's going to be 8ab. And then, again, you might think, well, I could take away 6b, but b is very different to a times b. Yeah? What we have there is we've got 8 times a times b. Okay? And then take away 6 times b. Well, we can't. There's nothing we can do to combine these two things. They're very different things. 8ab is very different to 6b. So they're, 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 they're different things. We can't simplify them. We can't combine them in any way. So we're just going to leave it like that. Now the last one's an interesting one. And I really want you to take note of how I go about doing this so that I don't make any mistakes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look to see what I have in common first. What things can I simplify? So I've got an 8t here, and I'm going to circle this, and I've got a minus 6t. Notice how I circle the sign as well, not just the 6t, because I need to know that I'm taking away 6t. Okay? So I've got an 8t, take away 6t, okay? which hopefully you'll realize is 2t. Then what have I got left over? Well, let's change the colour. So I've got a minus 3t, again, circling the sign. And I've got, a, sorry, a minus 3i, and another minus i. So this is like minus 3i, take away i. A bit like minus 3, take away 1. And if you do that, minus 3i, take away i, you'll realise you actually have minus 4i's, minus 4i. And that's as far as we can go. That's as fully simplified as we can get. So what I want you to do now is I want you to turn to, I want you to get the blue textbook. I want you to turn to page, uh, let's see, I memorized this a few weeks ago. No, I didn't really. Laughs, laughs and jokes. Page 73. And I want you to have a go at the questions in there. It's obviously questions one to four. Okay. Have a good one. I know you're missing me, but you know, I'll be back next week. So don't worry too much. See you later.